Wiggle wiggle like. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we are going we're going to be multiplying the mixed numbers and the whole numbers as you can see here in this video. So let's get on with the first question. So two multiply by three one out of two. So what are we gonna do is we're gonna make a whole number we're gonna put one under the whole number so it could so it can be a fraction. Then we're going to uh we're going we're going to make the mixed number into an improper fraction. How are we gonna do that? We're gonna multiply two by three, which will equal six. Add one, it will equal seven out of two. Uh, so the two will stay as it is. Uh, so it's seven out of two. Put that here. Seven out of two. Now, before we multiply, we actually can simplify before multiplying. It's much more easier. So, for example, uh, let's see. Two by two does it have any relationship? Um, uh, not really. I mean, it does, but it's not like a, like it's like the same number. You have to multiply by one. It'll be two. So it might be the same. So we're just gonna multiply it first and just multiply it. So 14 out of 2 doesn't have any relationship. Yes, it does. We can multiply them both by 2. This by 2 will equal 7 out of 1, which also equals a whole number. So yeah, let's go. Let's head to the next question. 4 multiply by 5 three, three. okay so as we say we're gonna multiply we're gonna make the whole number a fraction so 5 so we're gonna multiply 10 by 5 which will equal 50 at 353 so 53 out of 10 generate this I'll put 53 out of 10 10 Okay, now we're going to multiply, but before multiplying, you have to see if we can simplify. So, 4 multiply by, sorry, 4 multiply by, what in the, so there is a relationship because 4 and 10 have a relationship, ship, sorry, uh, it's going to be divided by 2, each one which will equal uh, 2 out of 1 and 53 out of 5. 53 out of 5. Let's see. Let's put it here. 3 out of 3 out of Five multiply by okay, so we're gonna multiply it by uh, two out of one, two out of one, it will equal. Uh, wait, 106 out of 5. That's a really, really big number. So how many groups of 5 will we get in 106, as we said in the previous uh, video? So, let's see. 5 multiplied by 25 equals to 75 because... That's obviously less than 106. Let's see. 5 multiplied by 100 is 500. 5 multiplied by 50 equals. Um, right, 20 multiplied by 5 equals 100. So that's really big. 
So what if we make it 5 multiplied by 21 until we call 105? So that's going to be 21. 21 is the official answer. Let's go to the third question. So I really will hear fitness here. So you don't use that. I'm sorry. Erase this. Okay, so five, we're gonna make it a the one because so we can make it a fraction. And wait, is it opposite? Yeah, this is the mixed number. So we're gonna put under this a one, so it's gonna be a fraction. And then we're gonna make this fraction to an improper. Uh, sorry, we're gonna make this mixed number into an improper fraction by multiplying six by five equals. 30, add 3 equals 33, 33 out of 6, multiply by 9 out of 1. Okay, this is a pretty, pretty huge number. Let's see, 9 out of 6, they don't have any relationship to add 3. Yes, they do. They're all in the 1 multiplication, so it's going to be 3 out of 6. And 9 out of 1. Now let's multiply. 9 multiplied by 3 equals 27. 1 multiplied by 60 equals 6. 27 out of 6. That is the answer. But it is obviously an improper fraction and we cannot leave it like this. So we have to see how many groups in the 6 can we get to 27. Let's see. Uh, 6 multiplied by 3 equals 18, no. 6 multiplied by 4 equals 24, no. Let's see, 6 multiplied by 5 equals 30, which is obviously more than 27, so we're going to stick with, so we did 4 groups. Okay, so far is that. Uh, so, let's go to the fourth and last question. Um, so 5, we're going to make it a fraction. 6 plus 5 equals 30. Add 4 is going to be 34. So 34 out of 5. Okay, and then 5 out of 1. Is there any relationship with 5 out of 1? Yes, they're all in the 5 multiplication. So divided by 5, divided by 5, it will equal 1 out of 34, and 5, and 1 out of 1. So, then we'll play 35 out of 1, which is a whole number. I'm really, really sorry. I feel like all I just wrote is a mess because they're all over each other. I'm so sorry. Um, yeah, I'm really sorry about that. And yeah, we finished our lesson right now. And as usual, I will upload a game called Quiz. It's just, you're just going to play it for fun because it's just telling you about the lesson I just taught you now. So, yeah. Bye, and I'll see you in the next video.